Shaw vs. A. That's when we start rapping. You know what I'm saying? Shaw vs. A Bite Podcast, episode 105. Got a special guest in the building. Court to you or Big Court or Court. How you know what I'm saying? Say it. She a mother, owner of Rich Vibes uh, Salon, a rapper. She got her own clothing line. And from the list of her IG, she might be a model too and shit. <laughs> okay. What's good with you? Um, nothing. Thank you guys for having me. Oh yeah, for sure. Um, so I go by court. Mm-hmm. I always say big court because you know I do big shit. So for sure, talk shit. You know, but it's it's court. You can follow me on Instagram underscore court c o r t the number two u yeah. underscore underscore. For sure, for sure. Yeah, I ain't know what to call you. I'm like, damn, she go by big court. Little court, you know what I'm saying? Court, court. <laughs> Never like, I know shit. <laughs> <laughs> Hell no. Nah. But uh, you know. On this podcast, before we start the show, we always do a salute me while I'm here. But it can't be the motherfucking regular people like mom, dad, if you got kids, a relationship. It got to be somebody out of that uh, umbrella. So you got anybody you want to show some love to that, you know what I'm saying? Uh, for sure. Sm- it's my partner, V. Um, v? He, he gets on my goddamn nerves. That's my partner. Oh, okay, we partners. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but he get on my nerves, but he, he pushed me, pushed me, pushed mm-hmm. me, pushed me. So sure. I definitely got to show love to him. And I can't think of nobody else because you said besides yeah, family, kids. Yeah, yeah, and that's yeah, yeah. majority of my friends is my family. Why, why is that? You ain't no friendly person? I'm a friendly person, but yeah. it's just, it's levels to this shit. So it's the loyalty, and a lot of people don't got that shit for real. So Yeah. So what do somebody got to do to prove their loyalty to you? Like, if you just meet me and we, you know what I'm saying, we, we, we cool, we vibing out. What do I got to do to earn your trust and your loyalty to be like, all right, this is a part, this dude is a part of my circle? It ain't really like a proven thing. It's just like over time, it's just like either you click, you got it, or you don't. So mm-hmm. it's like I'm going to be there when you need me, small shit, big shit, yeah. goofy shit, dumb shit, whatever. Yeah. So it's really like just over time just seeing, the, you know, the value in somebody. Yeah. And somebody, you know, people that be around the party turn up and get you in the dumb shit. It's people that pull you away from the shit and yeah. make shit better. So. Yeah. But also, sometimes, though, when you, like, like keep your circle so small, can't they, like, mess up opportunities, though? Um, No. I feel like you can't mess up opportunities as long as you know how to handle your business. So yeah. you don't got to be, somebody don't got to be considered a friend for you to go out and mingle and talk and know how to, you know, use your vocabulary and be friendly. Mm-hmm. You can be friendly and kick it and get, you know, have yeah. business power moves, but everybody don't got to know your business and know yeah. what you're doing. So good answer, shit, man. Good. V, uh, uh, get the rights. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Now, uh, sticking on this V person, uh, how is it working with this guy? Because I've been knowing him for a long time and stuff, but how, how can he be, I don't know him as a, as a as a person to work with or collab with or just like take advice from how is this this, this guy like man like you say he could be an asshole sometimes I, did you say that or I said that you said that <laughs> I was thinking the shit so nah but um nah he cool <laughs> look he cool or whatever but he he'll push you yeah. but like if it ain't his way for real yeah. that's where you you, you it's like y'all at it and yeah. then he'll hit you with a no doubt yeah. when he say no doubt <laughs> It's a problem, flat yeah. out. Like, you know what it is. You know it's a problem. You know. Yeah. Let me text this nigga back. All right, I'm co- if you say, all right, I ain't come to the studio today, my head hurt, no doubt. Yeah. So that means, I'm on my yeah. way. So like, that's, his, that's his, his, his signal that you on bullshit. For sure. Yeah. Yeah, he just want to push you to do the best, though. But no, sometimes that's just be like, because sometimes people can see something in you that you might not see. I was just having that conversation about my son. He was like, damn, everything I do, you find a way to critique it. Yeah. Because I'm like, nigga, I, I see the best for you. Like, I, if you wasn't shit, I wouldn't say a goddamn thing. Mm-hmm. But nigga, that I see that you doing something, I'm going to be on your motherfucking head. Nigga, you can score 100 points. Nigga, you could score 102. For sure. Nigga, you missed them two free throws, nigga. Like, you yeah, know what I'm saying? You can always do better. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to this nigga V, man, whoever the fuck he is. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, you know, it's 2022. You know what I'm saying? We've been going through some crazy shit. You know what I'm saying? Last two years, whatever. So uh, how was last year for you as far as, like, goals you might accomplish? Shit that you might have seen that you like, damn, I wish I would have had, you know what I'm saying, been able to attain that. Like, yeah. how was uh 2021 for you? I felt like 2021 was my hardest year, but it was my best year. Mm-hmm. Um, 2021... I went from a suite in Greenfield Plaza to a storefront. Um, I went from a Charger to a Benz Cash. Um, I went from, uh, I was in Sterling Heights, but Mm -hmm. I went from renting to owning Mm -hmm. a five bedroom house, three Mm bedrooms. Well, three bathrooms, five bedrooms. Um, And then I started playing with the music and it just like in five, six months, you know, it's really moving. Yeah, for sure. You know, because we being consistent. But I feel like it was a lot of like downs in the shit that don't nobody know about because that's the, you know, the background. So don't nobody need to know about it. But it was my best year for sure. What's one down that ain't too, like you can can give the people a little bit, like that ain't too far in your business? I mean, like, 
because of COVID, like my shop wasn't full yeah, for yeah. like, I mean, I went from like 10 stylists and a nail tech to two people in my shop for like four months. So that's sure. really me covering every bill in there versus the shop paying for itself. So that's just yeah. like really putting your money to the side, them pros and for them dark times and paying for that shit on your own. Cause yeah. I could have shut my business down if I didn't have it. No, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now with the store, with the storefront and junk like that, like of course, yeah, when you first open something up, you losing money off the rip. For sure. You know what I'm saying? So how how long did it take for you to start actually seeing like some consistent money coming in or whatever and you um, was actually eating off of it? It took like a couple of months, but then it reverted real quick and I was back paying for it. Mm -hmm. But now, you know, it's back and it's steady. Yeah. But like literally in Greenfield Plaza, it went fast. Yeah, yeah, so for I sure. expect that to happen when I got a storefront. But when I got a storefront, I had to take the toilet out, take the sink out, yeah. put floors down, paint yeah, everything. So yeah, shit, yeah, it was like, it was way more. Hell yeah. Now, uh, I, um, I was looking at something you had did on another podcast and you was talking about how like somebody like, uh, this might vandalize a, a place or a break into it. Yeah. Like how hard is that? Because like you, you want to be in the city, you want to show love and shit, but then you get something like that to happen. Do you look at it like, all right, I gotta make sure I move this store in the future or make it work where I'm at right now? Um, I feel like. No, nah, we going to stand 10 toes down and we going to make sure we got that insurance. So mm -hmm. it's a blessing. Every time you're going to level me up. So sure. when we get another building, this building going to still be here because it's original. Yeah, and yeah, we yeah. going to start and we going to just move on and keep this shit going. Hell yeah. I get it. Now, Greenfield Plaza, I'm an east side dude. You know what I'm saying? I could tell from the way you came in, you was from the west side off, off the river. Oh, that's cap. Oh, hell, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Speak on that there because it's, it's a difference between west side men and women and mm -hmm. then from the east side. What vibe you got? Oh, I was, all right. With women, West Side <laughs> chicks could be. I'm not calling you this either. They mm -hmm. could be undercover hood rats. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? They but they hide it. Like damn, like she like she got her business together. <laughs> East Side chicks come in looking like a hood rat. Like damn. It's been from the, so this, basically, this I lady, came in this, looking undercover. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> like, when East Side Chick gonna show you, like, she don't give a fuck. She got a bonnet, pajamas on, whatever. <laughs> Just go for West Side women and dudes. Y'all come to the store. Like, y'all gotta be dressed to impress. Like, nigga, take the garbage out, y'all. Well, I'm for sure speaking. I'm from East Warren. I grew up oh, on shit, East Warren. Oh, shit, oh, shit. Right. I'm from Warren. <laughs> oh, yeah, Warren up in this mud. Yeah, I grew up over there oh, yeah. 12 years, then I moved on Harden and Harper. For like oh, the other you, you six years, hood. yeah, yeah you, you my neck of the woods. He never pajama pants though. Yeah, never no, came you can't that. Do that. <laughs> but yeah, I'm from the east side. Okay, or okay. It wasn't so you live on west side now. No, I still stay in East Side Suburbs. Okay, okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. Dang, well, my bad. I thought you was a West Side person. I apologize for the inconvenience. It's cool for the shade. <laughs> <laughs> okay, nah, now uh, you we just stay on 2021. What's something that you were surprised that you learned about yourself? Like, damn, I ain't been like, um. Good or bad? It ain't even gotta be all good. I like, feel like what I was surprised the most about was I say not giving up because I'm I, I give up but then I still move on to something else to where it's gonna bring me income, but I give up and be like, fuck it, this you know, this yeah. ain't doing it for me. Yeah. But I stay I stuck with it because a couple of times I'm like, Yeah, this shop ain't it. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I'm about to close this, but I stuck with it. So right now I'm like extremely proud of myself. Yeah, so you say so you would say like you was easily it was easy for you to like, just say fuck something if it don't go 100% yeah, correct. Yeah, yeah, and go to something else. That's why I keep so much shit going at one time. But can't that, like, having so much stuff, can't that, like, ruin something as far as, like, because, okay, you got so many businesses or so many things that you do. Don't you feel like that could take away from something because you put, like, 10% into each thing instead of giving your all into something? I feel like, really, it's learning how to put people in position, the people that you call your family. So it's like, that's when you really put your people on. Mm -hmm. So, all right, nah, I got this, 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 this. But these my people, everybody scream, put your family on. So, all right, now let me put you in position. If they fail, okay, they can't do it. That's sure. just that. But, you know what I'm saying? I put my sister, she going to do this. My mama going to do this. My friend, she going to do this. You know, my best friend going to do this. And then we going to make it. We going to come back at the end of the week, and we going to see what we got. Yeah. To, to me just being around you for these couple minutes it seems like you just like a you don't tolerate bullshit i don't like <laughs> like how, how do i go how do i um you know go about on the on the guys like in relationships because it's not like you type of person like man you oh you you fought the, the, the tour see i fell in this bitch it's over no comment it's like no <laughs> <laughs> like how, how, yeah. how are you on the, in, the, in the relationship wise I mean, um relationship wise like are you I, tough I, I, I'm tough but i'm really goofy for real deep down like that's the real thing but like I'm tough. Like, yeah. look, I can't. It's like you gonna love me to love me because I'm gonna want the best for you for real. But yeah. I feel like I ain't for everybody. Yeah. That's that's are, are you facts. are you tough to a fuck when you just like you just you can mess a good thing up. Um, I feel like I have before, but yeah. I feel like they always come back. So mm -hmm. it, it really you know it now, just teach me what not to do and not you know not flip that yeah, shit. Sometimes we all messed up. Like, damn, I really fucked up with Keisha. 
<laughs> or with you, I really messed up with Craig. Like, <laughs> not Craig. <laughs> like Craig had it all. I, I, you know, you ever sit back and just be in the bed, be just thinking about Craig. Like, I ain't gonna lie. I be like, shit. He must not been meant for me. Man. I ain't gonna lie, cause it's like certain shit you can change, but certain shit really in you. So yeah. it's like you can better yourself without changing it. For sure. So. For sure. Now you being you 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 being like a boss and you you know what I'm saying you hold that hat proudly. Can you? Are you able to be a woman in a relationship? When I say that, a lot of times women don't let a man be a man in a relationship. Like, let that nigga wear the motherfucking drawers and the pants and do what he do. Some women is just too aggressive and be like, you know what? I ain't going to fall back. I want to be at the top two right. with you. So can you let a man lead? I feel like, um, Cause like I have gotten a lot better with it. Because really? at first I didn't see it. I thought, like... He tripping or whatever, but really it, it was me for mm -hmm. sure. Mm -hmm. So I feel like I've gotten a lot better with you know relaxing a lot. Yeah. But when it's some bullshit, I'll be like I ain't doing that. I ain't yeah. doing that. It's just the reality of I ain't doing it. But I feel like I've gotten a lot better. I still got some growth to go with yeah. that. Yeah, because a lot of times women, you can y'all can have your input and y'all can actually be right. And we can be wrong. Mm -hmm. But sometimes y'all gotta make the man believe that he right. You like, got yeah, you got make badger. The, yeah. Yeah. yeah, get that nigga motherfucking Barry in his back <laughs> that he need like every time. Like damn, let me just do this shit. If we fuck up, just let let us fuck up. Like, right. you gotta trust me as a motherfucking lead us the way and shit. Like, yeah. Like, and then for us, sometimes, like, sometimes each person gotta know when to shut the hell up and just let the nigga do what he do or let I the, agree. You know what I'm saying? You could. For sure. <laughs> What's your go to dish if you wanna keep Craig around? Shit, <laughs> all of them. What's Everybody that, what? fuck with my cooking. Um, uh, let me see. I probably do like some stuffed chicken, mm -hmm. um, homemade mashed potatoes. Oh, yeah. I'm going to say, yeah, hopefully homemade. Yeah. <laughs> For sure. For sure. Um, probably corn on the cob. Um, cornbread homemade. Yeah, oh, you it's eat. really whatever they want for real. I really can cook anything. My lamb chops, I got that you know special sauce from my BFF or whatever. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. I mean, everybody come around. No, I'm a person that cook every Sunday. I'm I'm oh. family oriented, so oh, okay, okay. I try to bring everybody around you, me. You was raised by your grandma or something? No, I was raised by my mom, but my grandma stayed with us the entire See, time. That's what it be. Yeah. Whenever you got grandma in your life, that's when them, them young girls can cook for real. Like you know what I'm saying? Because grandma in that mud, and you want them grandmas with those classic arms. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? The ones that hang. That's what you know. <laughs> that's what that's what you know about they motherfucker elbow in that motherfucker. That's the grandma, grandma peas. You know, be snapping them peas. Motherfucker little jiggly right here. Duh. You know, you about to have a great <laughs> meal and shit, dog. For real, for real. Hey, I had classic grandma. You know what I'm saying? For sure. But yeah, whenever you got grandma in your life, like I know it's that jump with women like who did have like grandma or mom was it cooking or whatever. Like they 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 the outgoers. You know what I'm yeah. saying? That's, that's order out all the time. You know what I'm saying? But when you got grandma around. Oh, you cooking? Cause you yeah. and that mother, and she gonna make you go in there and watch. For sure, you can't fast food my kids to death. Mm -hmm. They want some food. Hell yeah, for sure, for sure, grandma P. But uh, talk about you growing up a little bit. You know, what I'm saying how was it? You know, what I'm saying you already say you from the Warren, who was in the crib and stuff like that. Um, so I grew up on Holcomb and East Warren in okay. the Fourth Family flat. Um. It was my mom's, my grandma. She lived with us everywhere. Like, yeah. I found my grandma deceased in the house with me. Yeah. Um, but it was me, my mom, my grandma, my stepdad right. on Holcomb. We grew up over there or whatever. It was my my brother at the time. My sister wasn't born yet. Yeah. And we went to Chandler. I don't know if you're familiar with that school, but yeah. we went to yeah, Chandler. I Chandler. It was right there. My brother went there. Yeah, we went to Chandler my or whatever. We used club. to walk up there. Yeah, we went to the 4-H club. Um, shit. My mom, she... She worked like two, three jobs because mm -hmm. we wasn't spoon fed mm -hmm. or whatever. So that was really that. And then after that, we moved on Harden and Harper and we went to like Blackwell, yeah, um, Blackwell. Southeastern. Oh, I, you I got yeah, I got expelled. For, what happened? Talk about that. For fighting. No, of course. What, 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 uh, oh, no, I ain't gonna ask you that because I don't ask women about the age. I was gonna say, what year you went to Southeastern? Was Miss Gatlin there? You pushing it. Was Miss Gatlin there? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, because Miss Gatlin was the truth. No, I went to SC. I graduated in 04. I'm an old head, whatever. But, uh, yeah, Southeastern was the shit. I remember first going there, we was in Folch. Mm -hmm. And it was like, I remember, like, going that much scared because I went to a suburban school my first two years of high school. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, damn, I'm about to go to the hood with these niggas, man. Like, fuck. But then, when I saw them girls, that shit fucked my whole little <laughs> GPA up. I went from a 2.5 to a 0.5. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Miss Roddy. Shout out to Miss Roddy. She saved me. She saved me, man. She helped me graduate and shit. But, and uh, my, my uh, Miss Muslim, fuck you. <laughs> she tried to make me hold. She, she tried to make me stay back, dog, for real. And she got mad because she seen who I came to prom with. Like you ain't Rashad. Like man, people shut your old ass up. But anyway, that's another subject. <laughs> so you say you went to Southeastern. You yeah. Got, so did you, where you wind up graduating at? Um, I ended up graduating out of life skills. I got my GED. Mm. So I went to 
Ain't I went to uh, I know. Look, I know. Yeah, that's no, you, you must have got your major scrap then. I went to SE and then I ended up going to Lincoln. Okay. And then I went to Lincoln and I got expelled from Lincoln for a couple of semesters. Then I went to Thompson. Mm. Thompson was an alternative school. Then mm. I went back to Lincoln and got kicked out and then went to Life Skills and then finished. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and then I did some college. Okay, okay. Now, like, what, what brought this anger out of you? <laughs> like, it's like, I, listen, I don't like, know. It was like, and that's the shit that I'm trying not to, you know, to, to keep talking to my daughter about because mm-hmm. it was like, I don't know. I watched my mama struggle, so it was like so, kind of like I always felt like I was the son out of it. Mm-hmm. Like, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So it was like I helped my mom. I moved out when I was 14. So mm-hmm. it was like I helped my mom. had my own apartment, had my own car. I used to yeah. steal her car. You know, <laughs> all the normal shit a teenager yeah, would do. Yeah. But, yeah, it was like, I don't know. My dad, he a pastor or whatever, yeah. and it was like he didn't want to be around because he didn't want no girls. Yeah. And that was just the reality of it. Damn, so damn. it was like, I feel like it had a lot to do with that. Yeah, but yeah. I also just, I hated seeing my mama work so hard. For sure. That, that's, that's what you think pushing you like right now to be like, you know what I'm saying, make sure you got everything right. Just seeing your mom struggle, struggle go through what she was going through to um, make sure I y'all just, was good. Yeah, I more so just want to do better for myself and my kids. Like, I don't, I felt like, you know, as far as my daddy was fucked up, but then with my mama, I felt like just the, like the, what's the word? Like the, like the hugs and shit shit yeah. like that because yeah. i know she worked hard and she loved her but it was still like just that feeling yeah. i still didn't get that feeling so sure. it was like you know what i'm saying that's that feeling i always try to get in my yeah. kids nah or yeah. whatever so i'm close to my sister and my cousins you know my yeah. kids or whatever but no you, you you don't realize that until you get older yeah, like for that real. shit that shit do something for mm-hmm. you and like me and my mom had a relationship we loved each other but we never really expressed it you know what yeah. i'm saying and then when she passed away that's when you start thinking like damn, damn. like yeah. you know what i'm saying like damn i ain't I wish I would have did this or whatever. Like, I could have took charge and did some shit. You know what I'm saying? For sure. And that's the thing. It's once you get older, it's just like you start getting, you know, accountability. You yeah. got to be accountable for yourself. You can't blame everybody else. Because if you do something different, it might change somebody or get somebody else the inspiration to want to change themselves. Yeah, hell yeah. But yeah, man, hug y'all kids, man. For Sometimes, sure. like, like, my son, goddamn 15, he be, I be hugging his ass. Like, come on, man, hug me, dog. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm the type of person I had to, like, really learn, like, last year. No, 2020. I'm like, dog, like, I'm scared to say I love you to somebody same sex wise. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Or, like, my brother I always got to include the nigga. Like, yeah, I love you too, nigga. Like, you know what I'm yeah, saying? I gotta make, make it, it tough. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because, like, I feel so. Cause my, whenever my brother get drunk or high, he say he love me. And yeah. So, I'm like, man, damn, where's this nigga go with this shit? Like, yeah. man, I love you too, nigga. <laughs> like, I love you too, you fag. I mean, I mean uh, <laughs> cut that out, dog. But, yeah, I, love, I say I'm going to stop doing that junk because of shit. If anybody ever see my old podcast, they're going to, nigga, distort me, nigga. Like, but yeah, I always gotta make sure there's some tough shit behind it, just so I won't seem too soft and emotional. Yeah, I tell all my friends I love them almost every time I see them or talk to them. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna start. Off. I'm. Lo- I love y'all, man. You know what I'm saying? Everybody in this okay. building, man. That's your resolution. 2022. <laughs> man, yeah, you got to show more of it, dog. For real, for real. And if you do it, like, it, it made me mad. Hey, man, I love you, dog. Like, man, get out of here. Like, damn, cause I'm trying to be a different person, dog. Yeah, cause I just be like, "Ma, I love you." She's like, "Okay." I just look like, "What the <laughs> fuck?" <laughs> now, now with your pops, you say that you know he ain't, he ain't want girls. Like, did y'all ever have like a nice little bond? Or, yeah, we eventually? did though. That's the thing. Like, he he well off. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And um, me and my brother, the one I grew up with, we got the same mom, same dad, and it yeah. was like we used to rotate holidays, go down with my dad mm-hmm. or whatever. But it was fucked up. He was beating on his wife. I mean, yeah. he a pastor. You get money. You know, they these people is mm-hmm. you know following you, and we watch watching this shit so it's just like yeah. i'm really seeing it. and then i got down there that last time i once i got kicked out of um se my mom thought it was better she sent me down there yeah so i went to school down there in the ninth grade and then um basically he was like because he used to have this big ass like baby mansion we was like at a 12 seat table or whatever eating dinner we all had to eat together or whatever yeah. and it was like a bashing fest for my mom and i wasn't having that shit Hell like no. so yeah he sent me back i went to school the next day he had the lady come get me in Alexis with all my shit in the back seat damn man, i was happy as hell <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, what was he saying like, back was to it? the day we was in mobile alabama okay okay country yeah. country Hell yeah now i heard another podcast you said that sometimes your past energy could take you back to a place but you already didn't didn't really expound on it. You already talk about it. So, um, like what's some shit that like what's some shit from your past that like scares you? Like damn, I might turn back to that old court. Like, man, it's just really like just once something really like get under my skin. Mm-hmm. I think before I act. So that's one of the things I try to keep at the top of my head before I react to anything is where the fuck it could take me. Because I done been on probation in every fucking county. I done yeah. sat in jail. I done got violated. I done all type of shit. And it's just like my kid's daddy, you know, I already said he in prison. So it's mm-hmm. like, 
I can't go sit in nobody jail a day, two days, whatever, because my kids count on me. For sure. You know what I'm saying? They are already, you know, I'm straightforward with my kids, so they know what I done been through. They know what's going on with their daddy. They ain't, you know, I don't sugarcoat shit. So mm -hmm. it's just really like, just really coming out, doing yeah. what I got to do for my money, or if it's something to celebrate, celebrate and go back home. Not just mm -hmm. all that, just extra, being around people, being at people's house, being, you don't know what nobody else got going on. Yeah, for so. sure. For sure. Now, with your kids' pops being locked up, like, do we have like a male figure to look up to that, you know what I'm saying? Cause a lot of times, like my like my pops, nigga, I was 13 when he uh, when he passed. Yeah. But I still had like uncles. I still had people that you know what I'm saying. Cause your mom can raise you, but your mom can't teach you how to be a man. Uh, I just honestly say like no cap. It's probably still my ex, cause that's the mm. only other person that you know was in a household with them. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying. So that's all they know for real besides their daddy. But so, so you cool with them having that relationship? Like yeah, for as far sure. As, like y'all not messing around, whatever. Yeah. Oh, you a good person. <laughs> that's what's up, dog. Cause yeah, some 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 females see that they had that nice relationship and be like, man, no, I don't, I don't say shit to my kids. You know what I'm saying? It just depends on how it ended. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, well, so what would what would have messed that up then? Like, what could he have done that made you be like, you know, don't even say shit to my kids? I mean, I ain't gonna cap the shit. How the shit went, it wasn't even. It was more so forced than just you know. We went through normal stuff, yeah. so it was forced because of the situation. But it still yeah. didn't ruin it with them because they was just like locked yeah. in. It was like I looked at my daughter's phone. I didn't even know he was texting my daughter every morning. Good morning, have a good day at school for ninety days straight. I oh, didn't know. Shit. You know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? So, shit. I really feel like can't nothing really come between that for hey, real. You a good dude, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> for real, cause most dudes in when a dude would be done with the girl, like man. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Fuck them kids. FDK, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> for real. That's the, FDK, yeah, yeah, king of that shit, dog. Yeah, king. Yeah, you got some good kids, man. But uh. <laughs> <laughs> now in the crib growing up you know what I'm saying a lot of times we get our musical influences from what our our parents play you know what I'm saying we don't we only have our own taste we just like that shit cause we hear it yeah. so when your mom was, grandma was making pancakes you know what I'm saying doing little things around the house playing music who were some people you was liking based off of them um Tupac mm -hmm. my mom loved she thought that was her nigga yeah. but Tupac for sure and then like um I'm trying to think of my grandma my grandma listened to everything she thought she was young um <laughs> I don't know. So really just like Tupac, my mama Biggie, she like an old head. So, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. when Biggie come on, my mama like this, she going yeah, crazy. Sure. But yeah, yeah. that's really that or whatever. I was more of like an R&B person. Yeah. I can sing, but, mm. you know, my partner won't let me do it. Oh, so. shit. <laughs> Damn, you messing up, dog. <laughs> yeah, you can sing. That's what's up. Yeah. Damn, yeah. See, R&B is, I fuck with <laughs> R&B heavy. So who, I'll be asking me, who's your first favorite rapper and R&B singer? Um... My favorite rapper still is Meek Mills. I don't right. know, like it's just that's my nigga. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. I fuck with him. And then sure. my favorite singer, um, Keisha Cole. Keisha Cole. Yeah, for sure. You like a Keisha Cole fan? What? <laughs> that's the second time. <laughs> <laughs> that's the second time today. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Been through a little shit though. Keisha Cole, dog. Hey, come up with an album, Keisha. Damn, I mean, she makes some fire music though, for real. For sure. Bro. That's that pain. See, people with musical taste could tell a lot about them, dog. Like, like you know what I'm saying? Meek Mill, uh, 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 fucking, uh, what you, what you used to say? Keisha Cole. Keisha Cole, yeah. Like, can a, can a person musical preference be a red flag? Red flag? Yeah, because if I mess with a chick and every time I get in your car, you playing old throwback Gucci, I think a certain way about you. I ain't gonna play the same shit every time. <laughs> right. Listen, I'm gonna do that in the privacy of myself. Yeah, so you don't think music, <laughs> you don't think music could be a red flag? Um, no, because... It could be something that they just fuck with because they, it got them through something. So it don't necessarily mean something that's going on right then and there. Yeah, yeah. Cause with me, you gonna listen to different shit. You gonna rap, a little little, little R and B. So I feel like that's the red flag because you really don't know what's really going on Hell with yeah. you. Hell yeah, no, I do, I do, I do. <laughs> so you got times, you got times and moments for certain things. Like, say for instance, I'm, it's summertime, ride down eight mile, I'm buzzing a little bit. Yeah. The wind's down, blowing in my in my non hair. You know what I'm saying? That's when you gotta listen to a little smooth, little chemistry or whatever, a little her, little Daniel Caesar, something. Just like, yeah, I'm, I'm enjoying this motherfucking breeze. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Then if you got your chick with you, you wanna play a little something, something, you know what I'm saying? But like, let me spark this shit up when we get to the crib. You know what I'm saying? You got that. Then you got your moment when you wanna get hyped, you got a game, or you wanna go to the studio, you got music for that. You gotta have different things for different situations. Yeah, different vibes. But I do that, but I won't play no music when we smashing, though. Why? I don't know. Just it's always felt weird. Like I don't know. Like 
<laughs> is the music a must? And when you in in in, in, in the bedroom, no. I, I don't care for the music either. Like <laughs> I don't want you to have it like might a, fuck a, it up. She had, play, she had like a, a CD made for that little bedroom talk, like volume two and shit. Like. <laughs> 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 you know, you know, you, you had that shit, but I'm like, yeah, it could mess it up though. See, I told y'all was no anyone who said who thought like that, man. This nigga playing DMS and that bitch get aggressive. <laughs> like, <"Rah!" laughs> Hell no. That, uh, also, this, the, the, um, the piggyback on what I was talking about was first, like your first favorite artist. Like, mm -hmm. what's a song or an album when you listen to it? It take you back to that exact time and moment. Um, dreams and nightmares. Mm -hmm. What was going through? You was going through some stuff. Like, what's paint the picture for me? Man, I really just I've been been through shit the whole time up until mm. a couple of years ago. Mm -hmm. Um, it was just really just I'm different. Like I ain't gonna say you know everybody say that, but I'm different because I really just how I look. I'm I really just I grind. I will sit fucked up and don't nobody know that shit. Yeah. But I just keep grinding, 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 grinding until I really got it, and mm -hmm. now I got it, and I ain't letting that shit go. So it just really I feel like Meek Mills. He just he showed when he was fucked up. Yeah, you know what sure. I'm saying? He showed when he was straight. He showed when he got hold by a bitch. Yeah. All that. You <laughs> yeah, know what yeah, I'm yeah. saying? But I just I fuck with him. I do, fuck with him. Do you hold in? Do you hold in like uh, pain, like uh, anger and junk? Not no more. I'm that's something I'm a work in progress with that. Um, yeah. cause I feel like that shit. <laughs> It don't do well for no, me. No, it don't. I tell my wife all the time, if you was mad at me yesterday, why the fuck you tell me Bring that shit later? up on some stupid shit. Yeah, like, yeah. And then she just, her little ass will jump on me like, what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? She just named about 18 things. And I'm like, dog. That's what, that's our thing. I told her that, like, whenever you mad about something, just just tell me. Don't have me guessing, because sometimes I'm going to be stupid sometimes enough not to know. Sometimes stuff seems so small. It's like, I'm just, whatever. And then something else seems so small. It's like, whatever. Yeah. Then now we at number 10, and, <laughs> and, and, and then you do the smallest shit. Not everything hell just yeah. was big as hell. So it's like, damn. And now you just chase me yeah. down all this shit. Like, damn, where the fuck this shit come from? Yeah, you I left the toy seat up. Nah, for nigga, sure. you left that dish in there. On, uh, like, you, like, you, you got to let that shit go, because then they ain't going to do nothing but put stress on you. I feel like men got better communication skills than women. Yeah, hell yeah, for sure. I'm glad you admitted that. Cause yeah, we had talk about some shit like yeah, I, I definitely feel like that. Hell yeah! So what what's some shit that help you on your shit on your communication skills like? Um, cause you, like I said, nigga, you can she you would die from that shit like holding in that shit like you know what I'm saying get stressed out or anything. I feel like it ruined like some relationships like not to the point like it wasn't I couldn't get it back but it was like this could have been avoided you know what I'm saying yeah. so it's like if I would have just talked about it but it it my <laughs> shit go even further with. Not even knowing how to express it. I could sit here and talk to my friend and express it to her and then get to my nigga and don't even know how to express how I feel versus mm -hmm. getting mad. So mm -hmm. it's like, nah, I'm like, damn, I should just shut up because yeah. I don't know how to express the shit yeah. without sound, you know, without getting mad. Now he mad yeah. and we arguing and it's my fault for real, but yeah. I ain't gonna take responsibility, bitch. I'm about to argue with you, so <laughs> it's whatever. Yeah, but, for sure. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Yeah, yeah we got all work on that shit, man. Now this is some, some before we get to everything you do whatever. This some funny shit I always like to know. What's something as a youngin you wanted to be or do that you just never told nobody? Like me, I wanted to be a tap dancer. I wanted to, <laughs> for real, for real. I, I was being that bitch tapping with my church shoes on. Uh, I wanted to play piano. Uh -huh. and I wanted to do karate. <laughs> for real, those three things. Like I, said, um, I still want to learn that piano though. Let me think. Let me think for real what I wanted to be. Like, you already said you want to sing, but some people holding you back. I'm gonna do that. I wanted to be a singer for sure. I sung at my daddy church. Yeah. <laughs> um, this about to sound so weak. It's I okay. That's what we 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 here for that. I wanted to be like a mob wife. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Hell no! I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> Hell no! And then. And then I wanted to hoop because I could hoop still. Oh, so but I wanted to hoop. About that yeah. Hell, you, so was like your trouble in school stopping you from hooping on for squad? For sure, because I had dropped for a minute when I dropped. Yeah. In between, kept getting suspended. But I played from like the fifth grade to the eighth grade, yeah. and I started. And you know, I was started whatever. Yeah. And then I played ninth grade, and it went down here from there. Yeah, it was rap then. Yeah, it was a rap then, but. I like for I was a tomboy. Like I yeah. wasn't. I wasn't girly at all. Yeah. So. so um. Is it, is it hooping? You still do you you watch sports? Yeah. Oh yeah, you need those yeah. chicks in your life when you. Be. Not this year so far. Look, not this year so far, but normally yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's what I like. I like that shit, man. Girls can hoop. That's like that's like I don't know. Just, when you, we watch the game together, even if you don't know what the fuck you watching, just watch it with me. That's football though. Football, I don't know what the fuck I be watching. Yeah, just but, be watching that shit. Yeah, basketball, I fuck with it. Yeah, that's what's up. That's what's up. Now on the rap tip, you know, so I know you've been rapping since June, right? Mm-hmm. 
like what made you uh you know what I'm saying decide like I want to do a rapping or was it somebody in your ear like you should do this shit like um man it was somebody in my ear years ago yeah like five years ago (laughs) but um we finally just went ahead and kind of took it serious it's so funny just the first time i'm in the studio i'm standing there like stiff as hell Hell like then you know i get in that bitch now like be going shut the door run it back going crazy but yeah yeah, it was like it was really like i said my partner he said the shit years ago but i wasn't i had so much other stuff going on i wasn't fucking with it but now it's like it's fun it's an outlet Mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying so yeah yeah. now uh, this is your interview but i want to know from you real quick why did you want her to uh to start rapping what you saw a star a star that was that was pretty uh corny (laughs) 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 you thought she had the charisma or something that's what's that but but sometimes look might not uh you know saying translate on the uh on the mic <laughs> All right, so what? But what, what, fuck you, cuz. But <laughs> what made like? Did you have to like believe it within yourself? Like, have you ever rapped anything before? Some years ago, like, but all the all the um the freestyles is deleted off my page. Mm-hmm. So it was it was like one here and there, one here and there, one mm-hmm. here and there, and then boom. Yeah, it was like we here. Yeah, for sure. Now, with, with your name, I'm quite sure it's probably short for like, your, your your name or whatever. Yeah, because my name Courtney. Yeah, did you have like some uh some Past name that you went by when you was in, in the mirror rapping? Nah. It was nothing like, nah, like Little yeah. C or Big C or <laughs> C Money. You know? Hell no, nah, not C Money. <laughs> like C Money is motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? Because everybody nah. had corny names, you know what I'm saying? Everybody wanted to be a young or a little. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? A little shy, young shy. And like, you now it's just big, big, big. Yeah, like me, yeah. And my, me and my boy, we was uh before the city girls, we was the city boys. And this is it, it's documented too. This back in 06, 07. We was the Young City Boys. Cause we was on MySpace. Oh, and okay. uh, we couldn't think of, we didn't have a rap name. So we was like double R. Like that shit sound weak and then Rough Riders. So then her sister was like, Yo, y'all could be city boys. And then I was young shy, he was young Reg, Young City Boys. Yeah, that's what it was. That was before City Girls? Hell, way before. Damn. I was trying to rap in 06. But I, I realized within myself that I'm too cheap to be a rapper anyway. Because <laughs> I don't want to pay for no studio time, no video. Fuck that. Like, nigga, I got I to perform. Like, it's too much into being a rapper. And I realized that when I did the podcast and interviewing niggas, like, dog, it costs too much. Mm-hmm. Like, this, that shit too much, dog. Especially for, I'm quite sure you got to keep up with your appearance. You got to do Hell way yeah. more than what a dude got to do. I mean, shit, for me, it's like, I'm going to do it anyway. So it's kind of yeah. like. <laughs> it's just coming with you. Yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. Now, you was talking about that studio, whatever, because, like, we rap. But then when you get behind the booth, I mean, behind the mic, it's a whole different, you know what I'm saying, approach to it. You say you were mm-hmm. stiff and shit. So what's some shit that you need in your studio session for it to be a successful session? Um. So, okay, it's crazy because I used to think I needed to drink. Mm-hmm. So just to, to, to relax, but I don't because mm-hmm. it depends on the song with my tone. Mm-hmm. So it'll be this session and I know what I'm going for. I'll be like, I ain't drinking today. Give me some waters yeah. because I need my voice to sound like this. Mm-hmm. But then it'll be this song like, Oh yeah, we gotta go crazy. Yeah. Go get a pint. It's on. <laughs> but uh, really, just I really just need just my main people, or just me. Now I used to think I needed like my sister, my cousin. Be they was there the up. whole summer. Like, yeah. like shout out to them because they was there the whole summer. Like, yeah. no cap. When it was big shit going on, losses we took and everything, they were still there. Yeah. Um, but now really, shit. I start. I went a couple times, few times by myself. Yeah. It's it is what it is. Really, it's just. I'm comfortable now. It is what it is. Either y'all gonna do what I say or yeah. I ain't doing it. Yeah. What's that go to pint? Um, <laughs> some Don Julio Neo. <laughs> okay. Neo, I should have known that shit. Hey, what we drinking yeah. Neo last night? The uh, uh, Casamigos, yeah. And then we had missed, and we had, you know, maybe that's why I had a headache or something. <laughs> but, <laughs> no, I can't drink though. I can't. Like, matter of fact, next Sunday I can finally drink on the show because I ain't got work that night. Cause I started asking crazy questions. I started looking at interviews. Like he had to delete some shit. Like, oh, yeah. I'm like, yeah, maybe I should drink. Like I ask crazy questions or I might admit to some shit that I shouldn't admit it to or whatever. So <laughs> sometimes drinking and working ain't, ain't the, ain't the mix, move. Yeah. Yeah, ain't the move. You want those things crazy shit. Like, and then with the interview, cause I said some shit on the last interview and I see how people could take it the wrong way. Yeah. I said spaghetti tastes better the second day. And I said spaghetti and pussy is both better the second day. How but I wasn't, go hold, hand. I wasn't talking about eating it though, eating the coop. I was <laughs> smashing because look, this is my crazy mind. I believe once a woman we go to sleep, me and my wife, I ain't gonna say woman, you know, me and my wife, we go to sleep. It's just that next day morning, like fresh into it, it's a different feeling. It's like the juices then marinated, it's like spaghetti. <laughs> 
listen, I don't even know what to say. I ain't never heard no shit like that. <laughs> In my mind, I think of this stuff though, for real. Like it just, it just, it's ready. It's ready for you. You ain't gotta do no work. You ain't gotta whisper in her ear. It's ready. Is it been sitting there, ready, marinated, getting ready for you? That's deep. And spaghetti the next day, <laughs> spaghetti chili. It once them juices sit in. See, and, I was about to agree with you when you started off like the next day spaghetti shit, and then you. Lost <laughs> I mean, but me. you wouldn't know. <laughs> <laughs> this is something right. I went through. So, <laughs> oh shit, let's get back on track though. <laughs> so once you, you know, saying you just start rapping, like who's the first person outside of your camp to be like, dog, you dope. Shit, I c that surprised you though. I don't know, cause everybody, I, I ain't really nobody never mm -hmm. said nothing negative to me, but keep going, mm -hmm. like they fuck with me. So, yeah, yeah. can you accept criticism? I can. Like, well, I to extent, cause like to extent, cause it's like some shit. It'd be like, all right, like you said what you said, nah, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. you ain't got to keep, especially somebody that ain't in there doing like it's like you in the studio, you bring somebody to the studio with you, ain't like all right, yeah. you hear you hear my people like do it like this, you know, get a little ghetto, whatever, yeah. you know, cause I come off my tone is different when I rap more so like hard, like you know what I'm saying? And that's something that I'm trying to be more versatile with or mm -hmm. whatever. So they, you know, you like, sound like this. And then they come in, do this, do that. You're not even a fucking rapper. Like, yeah, you know, yeah. like, get the fuck out of my face. Like, <laughs> that type of shit, like, kind of annoy, annoy me for real. Yeah. But, you know, at the end of the day, when I think about it, I'd be like, damn, like, yeah. I should have relaxed a little bit. Yeah. But, yeah. yeah. But some people, it's like, all right, I coach. All right. Some people can see it differently, even if they ain't really good at it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Some people can know what they want to hear. What they like, want to hear. Yeah. yeah. Like the consumer or whatever. Like, it could be a nigga who don't know how to play basketball for shit, but he, he know it. He know the game. So he like, dog, you should maybe do this. And you be like, nigga, you don't even fucking dribble. Like, you know what I'm saying? So a rapper, sometimes like, you got to take that junk. You know what I'm saying? You got to take it. Like, So you rather take that criticism from somebody who do this shit than and oppose to somebody who ain't rapping at all. I mean, the people that do this shit too, sometimes they be just like a little too pushy because obviously yeah. sometimes if it's not delivering the right way, yeah. then nigga, we need to think of something else because yeah. obviously I'm trying and it's not, I can, I'm not, you know, yeah. it ain't coming out. So. I would say it depends on who, who giving it because she can be a crap baby for sure. Yeah. Now I now this I wanna know. You ain't here. You gave yourself a six month huh? <laughs> Oh, you gave yourself a six month plan. Mm hmm And with the with with, with this shit. And I know the person you work with, you know, that nigga jump in and out like motherfucking jump roll. <laughs> so like can he be a uh, <laughs> can he rub off on you? <laughs> like you know what I'm saying? Did he put this in your head that this six month thing or that was something you did? Nah, it was me because like I said, how I am about stopping shit when something not going how I want it to go. So it's like, we're going to go full throttle six months. Yeah. I ain't saying like we got to be signed and, you know, be out in a 20 bedroom mansion by yeah. six months. But we got to have some type of progress in six months that's worth it to keep yeah, going. Because sure. if it's no progress and we still just run around, I got a mixtape coming out. Yeah. No, we ain't doing that. Like, I'm not about to be that yeah, person. I had mixtape coming out for years, <laughs> Nigga, <laughs> coming soon, soon, soon. That motherfucker girl coming. I was coming. I walk in St. Andrews with them coming soon T-shirts on. Like, you know, see boys coming soon in the back. Like, we never came out, dog. Fuck your ass. No, I like that. Dog, that's just funny. We was coming soon. <laughs> what? The, oh, coming soon shirts. Yeah, take it, man. Go ahead, man. If you want to erase this part, then somebody want to know. You know, go ahead, sell that shit. You my nigga, dog. So, now with uh, with your business. With music, this this something that you you know saying you took a liking to and start loving whatever. But what's some shit that you hate about it that you gotta deal with it? Um, I say I just <laughs> with the music shit in six months. I say I hate. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to think of how to word it. Um, oh, yeah, you know, be in the training. <laughs> <laughs> I hate people try to make me look bad because of, you know how you get the energy I give off when I'm in here. Mm -hmm. Like y'all don't know me for real, but y'all know, you know, enough to know I'm not ignorant, you yeah. know, but I'm not just nobody's going to sit in here like, Hey guys, yeah, you know, that's sure, just, yeah. I just can't do it. But yeah. you know what I'm saying? You get to know me. I'm cool as hell. So, you know, people will just try to, you know down your character off of not knowing you because mm. you know you sit there with a straight face or you know yeah, yeah, and it's kind of like you know what i'm saying i could be sitting here writing a rap in my head or yeah, you know yeah, anything yeah. you don't know what i'm thinking about so it's just kind of like shit like that mm. that and then like um i don't know that's really it for real what about business stuff. wise what's some shit that you hate um i don't know yet Oh yeah, you just, you love that shit then. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> I, I can't really say what I hate as far as business wise because I got control over a lot of stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because like I said, with this podcast, I hate when niggas like don't show up at the last minute. 
You know what I'm saying? Bullshit like that. Like, uh, I'm about to say because I was late. No, you so good. You good. Uh, you good. Hey, we had worse. Like, and you hit me up and let me know. Yeah. That's the thing. Niggas will hit you up late and tell you they're going to be late. Yeah. I think you are right. Fucking 30 minutes late. Then you <laughs> hit me up and tell you going to be more late. Like, <laughs> I don't know that it was a word, but you know. <laughs> now, uh, <laughs> now, do you, now, you know what I'm saying? You fresh and stuff like that. Matter of fact, let's go right into it. I got this thing called Talk About the Bars. I take a piece of your uh, uh, something, a bar or two, and we talk about it. Mm-hmm. So the question I'm about to ask, that's why I jumped into it. You said uh, on the on the big freestyle, you said only rapping for a month, getting all type of love. Were you shocked at how many people showed you love? Did you not expect it? Um, No, I didn't expect it because it wasn't, you know, it ain't nothing I did before, so I definitely didn't expect it. But mm. the big went to the hip hop lab and everything. And normally, when you go on hip hop lab, and you know, mm-hmm. you be prepared for motherfuckers to be on their horn. You, you oh, know what I'm sure. saying? Hell yeah. And you know, that's the fake pages and everything. So it ain't even necessarily like what it is for real. But it was like out of all the comments, like literally, it was probably like one fake page. And yeah. literally, it was just like, yeah, keep Hell going. Yeah. Like it was really like fire. Can that can that be something that get under your skin if a niggas um, like just talking? Cause I, niggas be on there. I feel like just. Talk shit Yeah business. anybody yeah. I feel like A couple of months ago It probably would have But now where I'm at In my mind frame Nah cause all of it Is just bringing you To come watch And come see So yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying Now you say uh, With the getting love And stuff like that I'm quite sure Your DMs get a lot of love So like <laughs> Do niggas um, Do niggas try to Fake work with you Just to try to like Let me see if I can use This to get You know what I'm saying Up on the big court Whatever like. Of course but um, I'm like I said, I'm sta- we doing a couple of features right now, yeah. and that's it because you know what I'm saying that's just what we're doing. But as far as features are working with me, negative, I'm picking yeah. who I work with. You so know what has I'm saying? That's why he had tried it. Definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's the wildest DM you ain't got since you became, you know what I'm saying, with the music? shit? Um, I have to go through that shit and read it too. <laughs> I'm say, I, just, I can just imagine it being hard for, uh, for, for a woman, especially you know what I'm saying, uh, attractive woman to be in this music. shit like y'all y'all gotta have it hard for real for real like not for sure like, like niggas just be they be saying the stupidest shit though it's like i i'd be like whatever like, <laughs> and then no. you go listen to that music that shit be weak as hell like what yeah, the fuck yeah, that shit that shit fucked up man <laughs> hey man come don't come don't come and hurt your dms with that weak shit man <laughs> like, yeah i got a business opportunity for you for you know? sure yeah <laughs> dick <laughs> just, <laughs> drop a pick like real quick like <laughs> <laughs> I could just imagine that shit probably be wild as fuck, dog. But um, on um, on it's whatever you say, lazy hoes with no hustle. That's the real problem. And you was talking about your circle, like is it like you try to keep them motherfuckers away from you, like motherfuckers who ain't got no ambition, no goals, like they can't be a part of that shit. Like, yeah, ain't everybody, got no hustle. everybody that's in my circle, legit. Whether it's a nine to five, it's mm-hmm. a nursing, it's hair, it's nails, it's whatever they everybody business you know facials whatever everybody got their own hustle selling lip gloss whatever everybody got something going for themselves yeah. and you know what i'm saying that's the real thing the real the only thing you gotta have a hustle and if you got kids you gotta take care of your kids to be around me because yeah. if you don't take care of your kids i do not want you around me yeah for sure but, no, yeah, that's a fact hell yeah though hell yeah. yeah i ain't i got family niggas like what nah, the fuck you doing real. bro Motherfucker, oh, nigga broke up with the girl and then broke up with the kid. Like, <laughs> nigga, you a package, nigga. Like, <laughs> fuck all y'all niggas, dog. Duh. That shit wild, man. Fuck you, cuz. But, uh, <laughs> uh, another one. Damn, I think I might have wrote this shit wrong if I did. You know what I'm saying? Correct me. It's, uh, it's whatever you said. Broke niggas can't beat my shit acapella. So, do a nigga gotta be at a certain price range as far as like how much they making to fuck with you? Definitely. Okay. Now, what if a nigga just got a dream? Dreams and nightmares. Make me and they got, you know what I'm saying? But, and they putting that work to it. You know what I'm saying? Um, I feel like with the dream shit, that was 10 years ago. Yeah. So I feel like it's a level for everybody. So I passed yeah. that level. It's, yeah. I don't want a dream. Yeah. And that's just that. <laughs> yeah. But what, but what if a nigga like, all right, all right, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm Damon. You feel me? Hey, hey, how you doing? But uh, <laughs> I'm Damon. I didn't realize that I got older. Like, man, I've been fucking up bullshit with my life. I'm putting the work in now. I'm 29. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm putting the work in now because I saw... I was fucking up, fucking off my past years, and you see this shit. You like Damon. Damon's a good dude. You fuck with Damon heavy, and he just he just not realizing his potential and shit. You ain't gonna get that dude a chance. He might be your Prince Charming. I ain't being funny, but <laughs> <laughs> you about to be funny though. <laughs> Look, I ain't being funny, but no, it's yeah. I'm sorry, Damon. We can be friends, Damon. But <laughs> as far as being in a relationship with somebody that's just no, I got kids and they work. They watch me work myself up. I'm not building nobody up. We did that. It was time for that. I'm yeah. not doing that. No. Sorry, Damon. Man, I try yeah, to help sorry, you. Yeah, sorry, Damon. But we could be cool. <laughs> Give you some advice. Yeah. Now this, 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 this. What you said on this one had me just thinking, like, hmm. Oh, uh, what you like? You said take your time with it. I don't need no quick pumper. It's only twelve. We be fucking to six something. 
God damn. <laughs> what type of dick are you about to do? <laughs> So, what? <laughs> I, I, I replayed that about three times. Like, so, are you saying, like, one round, or are we going to stop and go, stop and go, stop it's and go? It's definitely a stop and go thing. Because yeah, I'm like, this got be. Because <laughs> with me, I'm like, shit. We about to be, I'm about to be, this bitch dead trying to play somebody like, because like, what if the nigga gives give you a time of your life for good, a good 10? Good 10 minutes, you in, broke you off, you ain't got yourself together. You know, it took 10 minutes. I don't see a time of your life in 10 minutes. Shit, you can make it, you can, you can ride somebody real in 10 minutes. <laughs> That's your feeling. <laughs> you can ride somebody real, like, you know what I'm saying? And, you know what I'm saying, sometimes, that's like my nigga, dog. I was arguing with this nigga about this shit. He said, what that nigga said, nigga? Something about something. Whatever it was, about timing. I'm like, bro, everybody got a bad game. Ain't no way in hell, nigga, using that bitch 100% every time, nigga. Nah. Some niggas gonna be like, and then you gotta use that line, like, God damn, girl, you put it on me. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> you might put it on that nigga that, that morning, you know what I'm saying, when nah. you woke up the next day and hit that spaghetti motherfucking meat. But, uh, yeah, so... So you say like it gotta be chopped up, like and it's yeah, still a long it's, time I'm even sure chopping it up. Be chopped up for sure, but I mean, if it depends on the vibes, <laughs> shit, you never know. That's, that's always like when you got a point. To, that's a point to prove. Like when you in a dating process, you you pull from points. Nah, but at that, I don't prove no point no more. I, I ain't got shit to prove. I, I ain't saying like that. That time frame wasn't just dating. That was yeah. a relationship. Oh shit, man! Hey, shout out to you, cuz. <laughs> I need motherfucker. I need to be drunk, Hennessy. All that shit. Because in my me sleep out in my mind, we we you know what I'm saying me and my wife doing what we do. In my mind, I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna get shit another round. Shit. After we done, I'm like, right, holler at me at nine in the morning. That's your go-to. We gonna morning. go. We gonna go for twelve to nine. All right, yeah, twelve. I'm gonna come back again nine, nigga. Twelve to nine. <laughs> Cause shit, sometimes women y'all can put some pressure on us in the bed. Like y'all want a nigga to go like motherfucker Superman. Fuck it. You might have to get motherfucking. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes nigga shit, hey, you, you, hey, fuck that. You got quiet there. What's that? What's I'm <laughs> just listening to you. <laughs> you don't think that sometimes, like, because sometimes a woman could be trash to a dude. For sure. You know what I'm saying? Or lazy. Yeah, 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 yeah. You don't want no late, you know what I'm saying? But, like, and see, that's another thing at the 9 o'clock in the morning beat. That's that lazy junk too, though. Y'all just both sitting there. In the morning? Yeah. Oh, that's why you like it. No, I, I'm not. I'm, <laughs> am I a lazy nigga? Hmm. No, not at 12 in the, at, at night. No, I'm not lazy. Yeah, but well, nine you in the said 9 in the morning. 9 in the morning, I'm lazy. Yeah, yeah you getting lazy that's penis. That's your go-to. Hell yeah. <laughs> you, get that, well, you get that lazy work and junk, dog. So, with you, with you rapping and stuff like that, and you know what I'm saying, we break down bars, with you and your partner, do y'all go back and forth on things? Is it sometimes that he might feed you something by like, that's a bullshit line or vice versa? Definitely. He always sharpens some shit if it's not to par because he'll laugh at some shit too. Yeah. Like that shit. Have you ever thought you came with that most incredible song Man, and he's like, nah, I thought I came with the best hook and he laughed at that shit at the studio yeah. in yeah. front of people. Yeah. <laughs> what comes easier for you, the hook or the verse? Um, The hook for sure. Okay. Okay. Now, you know, a lot of times I. I like to, you know, hit people up and let them know about, you know, rapping on the show. Because a lot of people be like, you know, man, fuck that. I don't want to do it. You know what I'm saying? And you get that r weird energy if you ask on the spot and nigga look at you like, because I'm good. So that's why I asked beforehand. And she agreed. Ain't too many females that agree. We got the beat. You know what I'm saying? She, she said she was ready. Somebody coming down the stairs right now. And, um, yeah, we're going to get to it, dog. Yeah, there you go. Yep. Can you run it back one time? Right, for Because sure. I like to talk shit before. You said you like to touch it. No, not me. Oh. I ain't about to rap. I ain't about to rap. You know what I'm saying? 2022, first female. What you think my net worth is? Let's play the guessing game. Add another 50 to it. Don't stress your brain. I was up a good number before the blessings came. Fly shit next whip. I'm coming jet a plane. New fit every day, but I ain't never change. I just stay getting to it while the rest complain. From a shooter to a charger, charger to a Benz. I'll be more prepared if I ever fall again. I cash that motherfucker out like it ain't matter. They thought I ran out of hustles, I didn't came rapper. Thought he could hit and quit, but I came faster. Put my shit on and nothing was the same after. Every hoe I ever beef with apologized. Every nigga ever cheated got disqualified. Six months turn around, but I'm not surprised. Rich vibes, I'm the one these bitches idolize. One foot in the door, one leg in the trap. That nigga V had to damn near beg me to rap. That one deal take off, I may never come back. Them feature prices starting to look like federal taxes. I ain't never coming short, I got more to say. Having fun with these niggas like do what Courtney say. Stuntin' hard on the bitch, but ignore my ways. You ever see me capping on the gram, then report my page, bitch. <laughs> Cause I'm obviously hacked. The best bitch by far, I'm obviously that. 
Gave this nigga one hit and now he attached Look at these bros like mice, they mama's the rats Bitch, Big Court, Rich Vibes Hell yeah, she went on that motherfucker, man All you niggas, dog, come on the show Hey, if you don't rap, we know what's good You know what I'm saying? Big Court, man Big Court 2022 you know what I'm saying? Number one stun in this motherfucker thing. You went hard. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, I like that shit, though. I like that shit. God damn. <laughs> yeah, that was good shit, good shit, good shit. You got the stamp of approval from uh from uh from, from V and shit, dog. You know what I'm saying? Dope shit. Let me get back to my let me get my mind right. Shit. You threw me off a little bit. <laughs> Cause I saw you like and a lot of times, you know what I'm saying, he was rapping like, damn, she's straight. This nigga, this nigga, very thought I was, I was on some bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Cause I had like a list. Now I try to get you on early, but I think something didn't work out and shit. So yeah. I'm like, damn, she dope for real. Like you know what I'm saying? And like, so uh, you know what I'm saying? With your voice and stuff, you got like a, you know, a tough voice. Like yeah. you might a nigga might hear your rap style like oh, shit. <laughs> you know, <laughs> she goes, she, she might beat my ass and shit. Like you know what I'm saying? Where you find your style from? Do you got anybody that influence your sound or whatever? Like you know, of course we don't mimic people's sound, but we kind of like take things away and kind of like add it to our own little, you know, game or whatever. Um, I feel like, like for real, it's kind of just my demeanor for real. Mm -hmm. And then that's really that. Just my demeanor for real. Cause mm -hmm. I be wanting to come off a little softer sometimes. Cause yeah. it'll, it'll probably make some of my songs better, mm -hmm. but I'm still working on it. Oh, you good. You good. You good. <laughs> now this singing project that's coming out. <laughs> <laughs> You, 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 would you want to do a whole project or you want to mix it up? Just mix it up. On your Drake vibe or yeah, whatever. Yeah. Come on, man. You got, come on, man. Let, 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 let the singing lose, man. <laughs> I, mean, I love some little R&B in my life, dog. You feel me? So uh, when you plan on putting a, uh, like a whole project out, because I see you've been chopping up, putting singles out, putting freestyles out and stuff um, like that. This summer, we're going to, probably, I ain't even going to say summer, probably this spring, we're going to do a um mm. an EP for sure. And then we're going to do a mixtape with all industry beats. Yeah. Um, And then after that, I don't know. We uh, it's a we working the whole summer. Yeah, now I see. You know, what I'm saying you getting super sexy in your video, or whatever. Like, is that hard? Like when you like kind of like because you you acting. Like, is that hard to do? Like, you feel like weirded out because this is just uh, like some acting shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. It took a couple shots, but <laughs> <laughs> it was definitely. Um, I'm I'm I throwing a dicky and a scully and some tims. Yeah, and that's me rapping. But for sure. Yeah, it was it was Gotta different. It, but yeah. it was like that was the the best. It was fun. For sure, for sure. Yeah. Now, uh, I heard that you got you got producer credits on that, right? Uh. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So did you have me say so, or was it just all him? No, he did the treatment for the video or whatever. So yeah. and it was it was extremely professional. Yeah. And, we working on the next one. Now you've been knowing this guy for a little bit. Cause you said he been trying to, you know, saying talk to you and talk to you in the rapping for five years. How do you feel about him as far as his his music stuff? Cause he, this dude could do a lot of shit. Like he like my producer and shit. Like I feel like they could do a lot of shit, but he be like he be, he bullshit a lot. Do you ever tell him like call him on his bullshit? Definitely, but he ain't having that. It's you ask him a question, he gonna one word you. He ain't gonna. I don't even <laughs> ask that nigga no questions. Like it just be like we we'll talk when you feel better. Like that's how we go about our relationship. <laughs> yeah, for sure, for sure. Now do you, now are are you all right? A lot of times in this rap world, you you come in with people. Like you know what I'm saying. Like you come in with a certain team or a certain person, or whatever. But once money started getting to the picture, things can fuck up a, a relationship. Now it's obvious y'all already had like a, a friendship before mm -hmm. this whole music shit. What would you do to keep make to make sure? Maintain that relationship As far as like If the money come in Contracts come in Deals come in What would you do To keep that relationship going And not fall off I mean well, I just feel like It's loyalty over anything With me and him It's, mm -hmm. it's I mean a lot of people Would say that And then really fall back And be <laughs> You know You know Be on some skeechy shit But mm -hmm. You know Whatever However it gotta go If, if we ever come to it And it gotta get written out Or whatever Right now We Shake hands and we cool with it. Yeah. Like we 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 you know yeah. we do the money thing and everything. We making yeah. money off of it, but yeah. it ain't it ain't that ain't nothing that we having yeah. no problem with. And yeah. We not gonna have a problem with For it because sure. I had money before it. Yeah, yeah. Cause you, I mean, you see that a lot though. Like damn, what happened to such and such? Like they mm -hmm. came in together. Yeah, and then money just split the whole relationship. Uh -huh. up. Like you know what I'm saying? Like me and him once this podcast blew up. Like at the end of the day, <laughs> that nigga gotta get uh, he gotta get a cut. You know what I'm saying? He coming with me or whatever. Like, for sure. If he don't come with me, that nigga gonna get. I'm gonna still break him up. No, nah, for sure. You know what I'm saying? So like, is y'all are y'all like a package deal? Like who the engineer? Like is there anybody coming and we won or we won? Okay. Yeah, you a good person. It's a good for a producer for sure. So. I don't yeah. know. All right, man. Hey, look for a producer, y'all. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Y'all out here, man, come work with the team, man, for real. Now, you being a mom or whatever, like, is it ever hard to, like, manage, like, music, your business, and then make sure you're there for your kids? Like, is that ever, is that ever hard? Or do you feel like sometimes 
that shit might take away from you being a mom and you, you know might feel a little bad about it um not for real um during the week it's just a little harder because i cook i cook every other day yeah. i'm typical fridays probably mcdonald's a piece of saturday yeah, sure. sunday i'm cooking dinner like i'm gonna go cook dinner in a minute yeah, 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 but yeah. i'm cooking or whatever so it's just sometimes just trying to get home to be able to make sure i'm fe- i'm be late 30 minutes to the studio because i'm in there trying to get the chicken out the oven to make <laughs> yeah, sure they sure. eating yeah, before yeah, i'm yeah. going out the crib or whatever so it's just balance for real mm-hmm. and just the time i'm i'm probably gonna always be 15 20 minutes late but never like an hour late for sure yeah for sure I mean, i'm a 15 20 minute later person yeah, yeah. Now, if with, that's uh, the word with, with, rich, with rich vibes like <laughs> How long, uh, Salon, how long did it take, like, for you to start, whatever? Like, how long ago you been doing this, like? Um, 2019. I started Rich Vibes in 2019. And then Rich Vibes kind of, like, now I don't got to be there. It's mm. within itself. And then my mom, she been helping out a whole lot with it. So, so. I don't really got to. It's That's kind of, like, on its own. But yeah. it's just that, like, running back and forth. Because I come from one side of town to get to the kids. And then the studio on the other side of town. For sure, and, for sure. You know. What's the big picture between like with what's the big picture plan for the music and with the business? Like what you wanna see this shit go as far as like a couple years from now and shit? Um, business wise, couple years I wanna have like three more salons. Mm-hmm. Um music wise for the end of the year, mm-hmm. I definitely wanna be signed. Mm-hmm. Um, I feel like or at least bringing in enough views and stuff to where we make enough money shit. Sometimes being hood famous you keep your bread going yeah, you good sure. you yeah. know what i'm saying no, sure. just, i want to just see more progress yeah now you said something that uh give me a hmm you know what i'm saying a little moment and shit like you had said something and i've been going against this and it's okay you know disagree you still you know what i'm saying I, I still rock with you whatever but you were saying like feature prices i had said this is what i had said as far as feature prices i can, i don't see myself paying somebody if i'm a rapper who can't help this song build you mm-hmm. feel me a lot of times you like that's even with niggas who know. Like, say for instance, you get a payroll, for example, on the fe- on the feature. I'm not paying you no money to get on this song if you ain't even gonna post it one time. I know people who ain't had him on a song and shit tagged him and he ain't say shit about it. Yeah. Now you being a new artist, like, and charging people, don't do you? Ne- you never felt like I know your you know your worth. You know what I'm saying? Of course you got worth in the jump, but do you feel like sometimes like you can overdo as far as pricing and you know what I'm saying not maybe bring the value to some that uh known artists will do i feel like it's level so certain people that want to feature mm-hmm. i feel like you got to look at what they gonna bring to you when they post it Facts, you know what sure. i'm saying so sometimes all right it ain't gonna be that mm-hmm. because you know that it's gonna bring you more publicity than anything mm-hmm. but when you know i ain't trying to throw no shade but like you <laughs> know you know, you you gonna make the song, you know yeah. what I'm saying, or whatever. Yeah, you gotta pay. Yeah. Like it's that's just the reality of it, cause you don't know, you never know on no song what no song gonna do for real, for sure, no and that's facts. the reality yeah, yeah. of it. Yeah, so yeah. you might as well my time and just the just everything out of it. We gonna do the job every time. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie, I love your answers though. Like you know what I'm saying, <laughs> like for sure. Like everything is, is on point, John. Like for sure, for sure. And I'm glad you a good in, a person to have on the show, cause. A lot of times you have people on the show, they don't, you know, don't even want to talk, <laughs> don't have no conversation for you or whatever shit. And I'm, I'm, I got a good percentage of people on the show who talk, so yeah, yeah, you just add on to that shit. Like, <laughs> See, pretty dope and shit. Like, I sometimes an interview can make a person want to listen to you even more though. Mm-hmm. Like, if you got a dry interview or a fucked up interview, like I don't even want to fuck with this person. No, but for sure. If you know a person trash and had a good interview or whatever on the show, you be like, damn, I want, I'm gonna give him a second chance. You mm-hmm. feel me? Just because I rock with his story and shit like that, so. Yeah, you you sound like a good person, or whatever. Thank you. I'm saying big court this motherfucker, man. Period. <laughs> now on some funny shit, we, just get back on relationship shit. What's the wildest shit a nigga did to try to keep you from leaving him? We gonna skip this question. <laughs> Cause I ain't nobody ever deal with fake cry. Cause I ain't fake cry. Nah, I got real cries. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, if we put it on that shit. Though. <laughs> Cause I ain't motherfucker feel stupid as hell inside. <laughs> And that motherfucker make a move like damn I I'm like a dumbass right now. And they was through. Hell yeah, but that's when you young and you just doing mm-hmm. stupid shit like I'm gonna cry. I cheated, but if I cry, she gonna accept that I cheated. Hey, that's what oh, it is. Hell no. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what it is. Like that, that 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 good cry might make a you forget about what you did with Keisha over there. Like <laughs> you gonna say, oh he cried. They good. gonna forget about it tomorrow. That yeah. day, and then you gonna yeah, hear about that shit every day. You, yeah, when you a little nigga, you young, and you you be like, dog. Like at the end of the day, like when I was doing that shit, like. Both of y'all gonna be thinking about what each other did. Like, if mm-hmm. you forget that person, like, yeah, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, but that's another story. But For sure, because shout out to people that stay together and throw all of that. Yeah, when now, they be uh, that young. I know growing up, you might have been a fan of watching, like, Making a Band. Mm-hmm. So I always ask this question, like, what album 
just you know what I'm saying hypothetically like if you have four other people including yourself it could be producers rappers singers who would be big court band you and four other people there's one album I don't know you don't know who's gonna be, you ain't got nobody you gonna work with like it could be Detroit band it could be motherfucking this nigga I don't nigga. know I mean the only person that I really wanna do a song with for real right now is Peasy Peasy yeah that's the only like I can't really think of like nobody I really really wanna work with for real yeah um I'm still figuring that out. Mm -hmm. Jay Swan kind of like up in there too, but that's three. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so we go ahead, and give me that other two. Um, PZ, Jay Swan, you. Now, you could, it could be a producer. Um, motherfucker, hell of on the track. I'll me. say. <laughs> <laughs> v. Uh, <laughs> uh, he there for sure. He okay, bet that's four. Um. And then I'm definitely probably gonna work with RJ Lamont. All right, bet, bet. That's like, yeah, a little five, a little five. Whatever, y'all. Hey, RJ Lamont, peasy. You wanna come on the show? Come on, holler at me, man. Best podcast in the motherfucking city and shit. <laughs> but uh, all right, yeah. So and the last question I'm gonna ask you about music. What's your thoughts on female rappers? Like, do you feel like it's hard? It's harder for females to get out than dudes? Cause like, cause like, y'all. Of course, y'all gonna get the love from fem from the other other ladies and stuff. But it's kind of hard for dudes to, like really fuck with female rappers. Like, I fuck with female rappers. Yeah. But, a lot of these ain't right around banging, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I feel like, honestly, I kind of feel like it's easier for female rappers than mm. nigga rappers because it's so many nigga rappers. So, it's like, <laughs> man, it, it be people I didn't even know. Like, did you rap too? Like, it's so many people in my inbox on Facebook. Like, he like, when I come back to the city, touchdown, I need a feature. Like, you know, I went on his page. Like, you rap? But it's, <laughs> <laughs> it's like, female-wise, you don't, a lot of females don't rap for real. I mean, yeah. I feel like it's starting to become more now, yeah. but... So I feel I definitely feel like it's more and then females have different versatile like yeah. it's females that come sexy it's females that come hard so I kind of feel like it's easier for females. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can can can, can the, the one who come hard like you said Dicky Fit motherfucking Scully can can that can that girl sell? Cause I think about somebody like Young uh, Young May. Yeah, she can rap. Yeah, but she ain't gonna get that same love as a man. A man showing that ass. Yeah, you know what so saying? I feel like you just gotta mix them in together. You gotta come dicky and sexy. I can't so. see it. Young man doing that. <laughs> <laughs> that might scare me a little bit. <laughs> 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 you know, for real, dog. Like, cause like, it's, it's gonna be hard for her to sell that toughness. Cause you got so many tough ass rappers. Yeah. So you know what I'm saying? I guess that's probably her, you know her downfall a little bit. Yeah. Whatever. You you dope though, young man. You wanna come on the show? Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love you and shit, man. My my son my, and my wife love your son, dog. Uh, now this this when we get to some funny shit towards the end. You know what I'm saying? Top three. I give you a category. Give me your top three. Top three childhood crushes. Love Romeo. <laughs> um. What is his name? Out of B2K. Uh, Rasby? No, nah, hell no. Nah. <laughs> Lil Fizz. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> and um, I don't know which one it is, but it's somebody in Jagged Edge. Oh, okay, okay, name. okay. Now give me your top three uh, moments in life. Um, the top three moments in life <laughs> um, would be when I got off probation, because I was on probation in like five counties. Oh, oh damn. Um, yeah, great moment, great moment. Yeah, when I got off probation, um, I'm trying to think. That's hard because it's so many moments. Um, mm. <laughs> Look, I'm like, I don't know. Because, okay, when I got up probation, I'm just thinking because I'm thinking so short term that yeah. it's not really. Um, and then I don't want it to all be materialistic. Yeah. I say, I got one for you. What? Your kids. You're right. <laughs> I mean, I mean, that was a given. Yeah, but. Right. <laughs> Um, yeah, my kids. Uh, uh, well, well, shout out to the kids. What's shout up? out to the kids. And then, um, I don't know. That's really it. All right, kids and uh, goddamn probation two. and shit. Yeah. You off the uh, top two and shit. All right, give me your top three movies. All about the Benjamins. All right, yeah, dope, dope. Um, Love Jones. Classic. I love that shit. The Alone. That's when, oh, she looking good. <laughs> Hit that white beard on when she came out there. <laughs> nipples on. Yeah. You know what? Bro, and, that's what I, uh, I was a little nigga. I was a perv. And paid in full. Oh, shit. That's dope ass list. Hell yeah. Paid in full. All right. Give me your top three TV shows. Um, Don't judge me. Recess. That was a shit. <laughs> <laughs> At the school, watching um, that shit. What else? Um, Family Matters. And 16 and Pregnant. 
got older though, I, I, when I got older, Fame Harris, Fame Harris was like, I had a lot of questions about that show. What? Like, first off, Eddie Winslow is not your son, Carl. Harriet cheated on you, dog. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga 6'6". Six, six. That nigga 5'10", like 5'9", that motherfucker, dog. Carl, that's not your son, bro. And it was just like, it was goofy. Like, how long Steve was going to be his nerd? Like, and he going to marry fucking um, Laura at the end. Like, man, that shit unrealistic. Like, mm, fuck you, good show. Hey, yeah, yeah. Since he ain't pregnant, though, I used to watch that shit with my, uh, used my to son watch and mom. Uh -huh. She's making, you know, like, that one TV that. and shit, you got to like, watch it. You know, it was her time and shit. And what was the niggas, uh, Amber and shit, motherfucker? Uh, that's sick, you know their name. Yeah. <laughs> Amber and motherfucker, uh, 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 the, the motherfuckers from uh, Michigan and shit, dog. <laughs> Yeah, hey, I, I used to watch this shit. It was my shit, man. 16 Predator, man. Hey, Vin, y'all want to come on the show, man. Talk about your journey. This <laughs> <laughs> Give me your top three foods. Um, Macaroni and cheese. Hold on. Stiff or creamy? Creamy. Um, oh, my God. That's like my wife, though. You, I'm mad now. You got that brick. Like you got to pick it up with a spatula. Oh. Like, that's like, <laughs> I mean, the outside, but not the inside of it. Man, I want that brick mile. I want that brick mile. <laughs> um... <laughs> All right, mac and cheese. Lamb chops. All right. Salmon. Salmon. Mm -hmm. you see, my wife made me hate salmon now. She made it a lot. She made that. She loves salmon. Me too. Like, man, it was good at first. I'm making salmon sliders. Hell yeah. Salmon, salmon salad. Salmon on the grill. <laughs> Motherfucker. Oh, Just shit. salmon. Hell Whatever. yeah. Hell yeah. Uh, let me see. What? Give me your. Give me your top three rappers. Your favorites right now. Right now. Mm -hmm. Um, Meek Mills. All right. Um. Shit, Remy Ma. All right, yeah, dope. She dope. She don't get the love she deserves. Um, Remy Ma and mm -hmm. this top two court. This top two court. <laughs> Hell no, sure. Not, this this called versus battle. I give you two things and you tell me what's come out as the, as the winner. It could be people. It could be whatever. Soul food versus seafood. Seafood. DM game versus in person game. In person game. Wintertime gear, summertime gear. Wintertime, that's the time you really put on clothes. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Music life or business life? Both. Rapping or singing? Rapping for now. <laughs> <laughs> hell no, hell no. Meat meal or, um, or, um, uh, what's that? What you say your favorite city? Remy. Oh, you Keisha Coles? Keisha Coles. Who you, who you picking? Who you riding to? If you gotta pick a city, I mean, Keisha Coles. All right, bet. Solid versus Vezo. Vezo. Payroll versus Peasy. Peasy. All right. West Side versus East Side. East Side all day. <laughs> <laughs> Nightlife versus daytime light. I'm transitioning to the daytime. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, Nikes versus Adidas. Nikes, for sure. Cool, 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 cool. Now, I was going to say something. Um, uh, Martin versus Fresh Prince. Ooh. I'm going to go with Martin. Hell yeah. Boys in the Hood versus Menace. Boys in the Hood. Tall dude versus short dude. I like both of them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, nine to five hustle, or or, uh, or or just you know regular life hustle. Nine to five hustle or street hustle. Both, cause the nine to five is supply the street hustle sometimes. Yeah. Money making Mitch versus Ace Boogie. Yeah. Um, <laughs> money making Mitch. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Chris Brown versus Usher. Usher. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. Cause somebody, I had like, an argument with this motherfucker. My cousin, Mons, said that Chris Brown would be Usher in the fucking verses battle. Nah, not singing. I mean, dancing for sure. Dancing, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, but singing, hits, nah, I that, sure got that. That nigga play confession album and just win. For sure. The whole shit, like, <laughs> for real, for real. All right, well, shit, we always end this off. I forgot to ask you before the show started, but a drunk moment or a high moment? A funny story when you was one or both? You said a drunk moment or a high, high moment? moment. Yep. You off the, off the weed, off or off the drink, or off both. A funny story when you was on your ass. You want me to tell the story? Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> all right. <laughs> <laughs> it was this one time. This is why I don't drink vodka. Okay. Hell no. Me neither. So <laughs> we was out home. Girls in the Chrysler cab. They was hating. Whatever. This was a long a minute ago. Probably like ten years ago. Okay. We ended up fighting the whole Chrysler crab. It was crazy. <laughs> you know, they pull out guns, all that. You know, <laughs> threw us in the car, whatever. They take you back to my, I'm drunk as hell. Yeah. Threw up in my people's car. I get to my mama's house. I try to get in her oven. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> 
I don't know why, but my mama woke me up the next day because, of course, I couldn't go high on the blood. She like, and if you ever try to get the fuck in my oven Duh. again, I'm like, you I tried to get in your about. oven. Yeah, so that was the end of vodka for me. Damn, what kind of vodka was it? Um, what the fuck was we drinking? What was I think it was Ciroc. Yeah. Yeah. God damn. We that's it. About, I was talking about the first time I drank with this nigga. This is my uncle. I was drinking Scout Vodka. Mm. That shit. I mean, that bitch trying to prove a point. <laughs> ha, 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 I'm drinking. Yeah, nigga, you in your third cup already? Yeah, nigga. It was all she wrote. That shit dangerous. It was all she wrote. But I think my worst drunk story was um, it was just shit called, I think it was called 360. And I don't know if y'all remember those uh, what was those Arizona can four locos? Uh -huh. I mixed them motherfuckers, dog. So then we inside uh, Avanti's in the river. Mm -hmm. And I got a girl at the time, and I'm picking up her friend like on the dance floor. I'm bumping to a DJ motherfucking shit. And my my boy cussed me out. I'm not even understanding. So then when we get to the crib, I'm like, dog, let your window down. I got to throw up. Mm -hmm. but I still threw up inside the car. So then I go in the house. I'm in my mama's house. So for some reason, I wind up just taking all my clothes off, bust my head, go in the basement, and put my clothes in the basement. I wake up butt ass naked on her couch with her phone. I got a phone though. Yeah. But I'm butt naked on, on her couch with her phone. Off of, and, and bust their head. That's off crazy. Of, off yeah. of that motherfucking four loco. That shit black you out. Like, For sure. I ain't remember none of that shit. Like I don't remember picking nobody up. I don't remember throwing up in this nigga car. I don't remember shit. trying to get in that oven. Dog, but you try to get in the oven. <laughs> you like, motherfucking bake yourself. <laughs> 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 yeah, no, I appreciate you coming on the show. Thank you for having me. It was a dope ass show and shit, man. Tell the people where they can find you at on social media and where they can find the music and all that good stuff. Um, definitely on Instagram, IG, go mm -hmm. to underscore court C O R T, the number two, the letter U underscore underscore. Um, follow us on YouTube, Big Court Music, um, and then stream my current single, uh, What You Like featuring Ronte, and then my other single is whatever. Well, it's not spelled whatever, it's W H A T E V E R whatever. Okay. So hey, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. Now uh, you got anything you want to end the people off with? Like some positive words and shit, some encouragement? Uh you know, some like good stuff. Nah, nah. Yeah, just you know. <laughs> Fuck y'all niggas. Right. Keep grinding. <laughs> stay persistent. Um, make yourself some weekly goals. For sure. Sometimes short time goals is better. Goals is better than long time goals. Oh yeah, for sure. Fast, fast. fast. And download that music. Hell yeah, hell yeah, for sure. Get that music. Hey, fellas, some eye candy on there. You know what I'm saying? The new video she's had. You know what I'm saying? See her. You know what I'm saying? My nigga, very uh, fucking uh, you know, did the whole little fucking video and shit, man. Shout out to you. You know what I'm saying? You're a good brother and stuff, man. And uh, shout out to Quincy, man. I love you, dog. I love y'all niggas, man. Very love you, Court. You know what I'm saying? I love y'all niggas, dog. Oh, that's your I know y'all. It's my new <laughs> shit, dog. So, yeah, hey, man. Love somebody, man. Shout out to everybody. Episode 105, man. Voice of Detroit. <laughs>